Hi guys, welcome to another video. So today, I'm gonna be making mug cake. If you don't know what mug cake is, it's basically a miniature cake in a cup or mug. Today I'm using this cup. It's um, in the middle of a cup and a mug. It's not as big as a mug, but it's not as regular little teacup. So I'm using this. Um, so today, um, I'm making Nutella mug cake. Um, I've never tried it before, but I love chocolate cake, so of course I'm going to like it. Um, there's two ways that you can make it. You can either mix the Nutella into the dough, or you can um, just put um, a spoonful of Nutella in the middle of the dough, and then you will have a Nutella soft center. So, it's up to you. I'm going to just go with the in the middle thing so I can actually see and taste the Nutella. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, what you will need to make this mug cake is um, flour, sugar, milk, unsweetened cocoa powder, some baking powder, one egg, some vegetable oil or any kind of oil that doesn't have a specific flavor, and of course, Nutella, the most important thing. Um, the exact measurements are going to be in the description below. So, if you want to know the exact measurements, go check down below. Then for your materials, you're going to need a bowl and two tablespoons, and of course, your mug. So, let's just get started here. Okay, first take your flour my flour right here and take your flour and put it into your bowl and if you can hear crunching noises then it is my dog in the background eating food okay. next you're going to take your sugar and add it to the bowl Then your cocoa powder. If you don't have unsweetened cocoa powder, just regular hot chocolate powder or something like that will be fine. I have unsweetened cocoa powder, so I'm gonna use it. Duh. Okay, this is so messy. I hate it. Okay, let's add that cocoa powder. Next, your baking powder. We're just adding this so the cake will really rise. Now we're just going to stir the dry ingredients together so they are already nice and combined. Oh, and also I forgot to say you have to add um, a pinch of salt. Let me go get that real quick. Mmm, salt. Pinch of salt. Perfect. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Stir in my mixture. Stir in my mixture. Up. Okay. The cocoa powder is oh, not really getting there yet. So I'm going to have to keep on mixing this together. Okay, I got that all mixed in. Now you're going to add your egg. Ooh, I'm scared I'm going to drop a shell. Oh my gosh, I didn't drop a shell for like the first time ever. Mix in your egg. You don't have to mix it in perfectly, just kind of stab the egg. Okay. Then you're going to add your milk. Got my milk right here. Dun, 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 dun. Add my milk. Oop, that was a little too much. Whatever, who cares? Ugh, as long as it tastes good. And then your oil. Mm, I'm a musician, musician. Okay, I'm gonna mix that in, and then after I mix that in, um, it's time for the Nutella. Okay, this is gonna take four ages. 
Nah, just kidding. It won't take for ages. See, it's already making a nice chocolatey dough and it smells amazing. Okay, so I'm about halfway there with mixing. There's still chunks and I have to get rid of those. But I'm already going to add my Nutella. Add my Nutella. There's some dry ingredients on there. Let me get those off. I don't want to get them in there. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Well, let's add a little more. We really want that Nutella. Actually, I'm going to add that in the middle. Into the middle. I said I was only going to add it into the middle, but I decided I was going to add it into the dough. So we really have that Nutella mug cake. If you know what I'm saying here, I'll be back. Okay, I mixed it all nice and together. Look how delicious that looks. I couldn't get rid of all of the little chunks, but you know what? I'm just not going to care. So now you're going to pour. I'm, I'm not sure if it's all going to fit. If not, I'm going to have to make another one. So you're going to pour half of the mixture into your mug. Half of the mixture. don't want to put all of it. Okay. That's about half of the mixture. And then you're going to add your spoon of Nutella into the middle. It is going to sink that down a bit, but that's okay. Add my Nutella in here. Mmm. Can't wait to eat this. And then you're just going to add the rest of your dough on top of that. Look at that. Oh, you can't even see it pouring in. Mmm. And now you just saw my nose. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is going to overflow. But, you know, I don't even care. Oh, well. Okay. Got my mixture in here. It looks delicious. And now you're just going to put this in the microwave for... One to four minutes. It really depends. Um, and if you're not sure if it's done, then make a little sticky thing to make sure it's done. I'll be back when it's all done baking. Mmm. It's delicious. Oh, oh my gosh. Mm, I didn't burn my teeth lately, so yeah. Mmm. And I'm pretty sure I forgot to mention this. You don't bake your cake in the oven. You bake it in the microwave. So that's why I said only one to four minutes. So just want to clear that up. This is what it looks like after one minute. And it's not done because it's still jiggly. At about two minutes, it is definitely done. And let me show you what mess it made in the microwave. Look at that. It pooped. Oh well, I'm still going to eat it. Oh my god, it doesn't very really look appetizing, but it is so delicious. It looks still raw, but it is done because it's just done. So I was going to put some whipped cream on top, but we don't have some, so I'm just going to add a couple of sprinkles. There we go. There you go. And now to see if it turned out like it wanted to. I'm gonna eat it in front of your faces. Okay, I already have chocolate all over myself. But look at that. It's so, oh, sorry, it's so good. Like, it feels like, once you put it in your mouth, it feels like it's still raw, but look at it, it's baked. Nice and gooey, but it's baked. And I'm not gonna die of salmonella because we just put this egg in here like 10 minutes ago. So if you eat the cake right away, you can assure you don't get any kind of salmonella. Okay. I'm gonna try to get to the Nutella, but it's still far down. So I don't know if I can get to that yet. Mmm, delicious. I'll be back once it got to the bottom. Well, to the Nutella. If that even survived. Let's see. Oh my gosh! It's burning my mouth. It's so hot. Oh 
Oh my gosh, guys, I got the Nutella. Look at it. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Do you see this gooiness? That's the Nutella. Do you see it? Mmm. Okay, so I ate, like, not even half of this, and I am full. Like, I can't eat anymore, otherwise I'm going to get sick. Um, like, it is so good, but it's so... Look at the Nutella. It's so good and everything, but it's so filling, so I would recommend this to be a two-person dessert. Maybe even a three-person. Two-person, I would say. Um, maybe... Oh, excuse me. Maybe for a couple... Maybe a little Valentine's Day dessert. Because it is really good. And it's super easy to make. And you can be like, I thought I made my own cake. Just for us. I'm just going to put this in the fridge for now. Um, and my mom can eat it later. Oh, I dropped some. Oh my gosh. It's everywhere. No, I'm just kidding. It's not everywhere. I don't even know where it went. What the heck? Whatever. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out my other videos. Subscribe, like, and comment. Bye.